guys it's me electro so today i'm gonna teach you guys how to change your ceiling fan capacitor it's a simple process this is my chrome grave 2010 ceiling fan brown so let's test it it's in five speed let's see this is the first case when the fan rotates slowly three two one and i'm gonna turn it on see in this first case fan rotates slowly it starts slowly and like it doesn't increase its speed like it's a problem when, when especially in summers it's like you'll have to get your capacitor change if it's like or unless you, if you don't have a ac in your hall or your room or a cooler so the case one let's turn it off now next we'll go to the case two which shows something opposite to that when the fan does not want to rotate okay so we're back the fan does not want to rotate because it's that capacitor but when i switch on the blades like vibrate a little bit by the stop it makes a bit of a and when we just give it a slight push also it starts rotating and it will increase its speed i'll just make it to ro go fast okay so it's fast it's in anti clockwise direction the correct direction for us to get the wind see it's this much with the bad capacitor and the motor heats up and the coils burn out or the speed of your induction motor decrease at decreases at a very 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 high extent so let's rotate it in clockwise direction stop no clockwise direction see it's rotating this same way if i would leave it over some more time it would take like three four more minutes to gradually increase its speed because of the bad capacitor so now we'll climb on this tool and start changing a capacitor okay so the fan stopping so let's climb on the stool stop the fan and just first i'll set the upper canopy so that we'll get more space when we pull the lower canopy this is a new tip gun capacitor white one indians know that this cost inr to rupees 40 40 indian rupees so let's set the canopy and open the lower canopy so top canopy is set let's pull the lower canopy you have got a plenty of space so before i remove the screw and i just start the work i want to tell you guys i want to show you guys the connection diagram it's very 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 important and if you like change the wire your fans going to get slow so i'll remove i'll remove the old capacitor before i remove it i'll once again tell you that i'm going to show you the connection diagram it's very very important the one wires like up and down it's either not going to rotate or rotate in the clockwise direction which is reverse and we won't get air so take a look at this connection diagram for my chromium grease ceiling fan the black is the starting winding which goes to the power and the blue and the capacitor wire don't need any power they'll just be together uh, but the red and the capacitor wire should go to the power so that's how it's balanced and the fan rotates okay so let's replace this idiotic old waste capacitor which is no more useful for us because it's slow unless we need it once more many people throw but i collect these capacitors so connection diagram i've spoken about so now let's start the work take a screwdriver and the air will go up only once more and on the ground so now let's start the work take your screwdriver and open 
open the first blue wire screw and remove the capacitor wire from the blue one and leave it and then do the same with the red wire so we get both the wires of the capacitor out so you can remove the old capacitor and just keep it I mean remove it and keep the new one so now let's get the new one and I'll just first slide it into the holder then join the wires first take one wire of the capacitor which is the short one to the blue one and the long one to the red one because we want it tightly so put them into their places and tighten the screw and you will be done tighten the screw nicely just tightening a bit and if you have a test you can test whether the capacitor is live or not if you have never used it you can get it tested in your electrical shop they will just put it in the socket and if the capacitor sparks it's all fine they will only test it but if they don't test it ask them to test it because it can be a faulty if it doesn't work so after tightening everything just lower the canopy oh the plastic was touching oh it's making annoying noise let's pull the canopy a bit up so now let's flick the switch and see whether it works or not 3 2 1 it's on 5 speed 3 1 go oh it started up very fast at its highest speed. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, share and comment. Thank you.